calls that our cells, cells are making. But if you're like most of us and we've got a sedentary lifestyle and just taking a walk around the block is considered to be exercise and our thyroid hormone is whacked out and we're not making enough sex hormones, all of a sudden now insulin is high and cells are getting the message to make more things, make more cholesterol. There's not going to be anywhere for that cholesterol to go. The cholesterol is not going to be used for anything because we're sitting on the couch watching TV. The cholesterol is not going to be used for anything because our other anabolic building hormones like testosterone and thyroid hormone are being suppressed. So we got a cell that's received its delivery of nutrients and energy, the form of sugar and as well as fats and amino acids. We got a cell that's loaded for bear, as they say. But when insulin levels are consistently high and other hormones like testosterone, uh, male building hormones, and thyroid hormone are not consistently high, cells begin to behave erratically. The chemical reactions in the body are like a spider's web or like the Internet. One uh, Affecting one point of the spider's web affects the entire web. So if you just upregulate cholesterol but you haven't upregulated your other hormones, you're going to run into problems. Everything in the body is fine-tuned to a reality that was pretty much the same for hundreds of thousands or even millions of years. When insulin levels rise chronically and out of proportion to good nutrition and exercise and oxygenation, breakdowns are in inevitable. The cell thinks the body is out hunting on the African savanna. The cell thinks that it's just eaten a wonderful meal and it's summertime and it's time to grow muscles and it's time to reproduce and it's time to do all the things humanity did on the African savanna in the summertime when really it's not summertime at all. It's the 21st century in America and we're not hunting wild beasts on the African savanna, we're really peeling off the wrappers of our quarter pounders with cheese and fries. And so all of this building energy doesn't have anywhere to go. So cells, uh, so cholesterol starts to pile up in the blood. Ultimately, the net result of elevations in insulin is cells think they're supposed to be building, they're supposed to be dividing, they're supposed to be growing, and that's where cholesterol comes in because it's ultimately important for building and dividing and growing. It's a building substance. So is insulin. They work together. Bottom line here, my friends, elevated insulin means elevated cholesterol. It's not cholesterol. It's insulin. Tell that to your doctor. Tell that to your cardiologist. The problem is not cholesterol. It's insulin. And the tragedy of the whole thing is we are in charge of our insulin, not the doctor, not the pharmacist, not the insurance companies. Insulin is a food hormone. We are in charge of our insulin through our dietary choices. That means we're in charge of our cholesterol. We're in charge of our biochemistry. We're in charge of our heart disease and our circulatory problems. We're in charge of our heart attacks or lack thereof through insulin, through our dietary choices, through the food choices we make. Insulin and everything associated with it, including diabetes and upregulated cholesterol production in cells, is controlled by food. This is so important because it means we're responsible. Our bodies are being tricked into thinking that they're in prime growth mode, and the main biochemical that's communicating this message is insulin. When the body stops listening to insulin and insulin levels rise excessively, that's called insulin resistance, cholesterol levels rise too. Lower your insulin, cholesterol will drop like a stone. You don't need a statin drug. You don't need to stop eating cholesterol-containing foods either. In fact... The body regulates the amount of cholesterol based on how much cholesterol we're eating. So when we eat more cholesterol, we make less cholesterol. So in a way, eating cholesterol is one of the best ways you can, one of the best strategies you can use to reduce the cholesterol that you're making without toxicity. Eating cholesterol. When you eat cholesterol, you're going to get some of the most nutritionally dense foods you could ever eat. Sorry to the militant vegans out there, but uh, cholesterol-containing foods, which are only animal foods, are not only dense, not only packed with nutrients, but they're packed with unique nutrients. Unique nutrients like phospholipids and lecithin and vitamin D and vitamin E and vitamin K and vitamin A, for that matter. Cholesterol-containing food and cholesterol and cholesterol-containing foods are specific for building an animal's body. Human beings are animals for building our human bodies as well. All right, that is my rant on statin drugs. I hope I didn't offend anybody. I hope I didn't offend any doctors out there. But it's so important, you guys. There's doctors, there's medical professionals who want statin drugs to be dispensed to everybody. There's medical professionals who want eight-year-olds to be on statin drugs. There's medical professionals who want statin drugs in the water supply. 
And we see these commercials for Crestor and for Lipitor and for Mevacor, among other ridiculous pharmacological drugs. You guys, if you're watching TV and you see these commercials, these uh, commercials for pharmaceuticals, do some deconstruction. Break the things apart. Notice them. Notice how they read uh, a 60-second commercial or a 90-second commercial will have 25 to 30 seconds of, of side effects. Somebody reading the side effects. And they always end the commercial on a good note. They don't end them on the side effects. They stick the side effects in the middle hoping that we're going to ignore or forget about the side effects because the end of the commercial has some smiling lady who tells you how wonderful her skin is. And notice how healthy everybody looks. That's the funniest thing about these drug commercials. Notice how healthy everybody looks on the drug commercials. They're climbing mountains and they're, and they're racing cars and they're hiking and they got backpacks on and they're the, the epitome of health. But they're on their statin drugs. They're on their blood thinning drugs. That one guy says, oh, I don't know about my warfarin. And Zara says, well, now now there's a new drug. It's better than warfarin, and you don't have to have your blood checked. Does this make you want to throw up? It does me. And as a pharmacist, as somebody who's trained and studied these things for 30 years, I can tell you definitively that these things are these commercials that promote pharmaceutical drugs are a, a crock of crap that have nothing to do with your health and have everything to do with the, with the bottom lines of some twisted, perverted, evil pharmaceutical company, and that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, we've got to take some phone calls. Uh, 855-660-4261 is our number. We do have two lines open for you. We'll try to get, we'll get to you when we come back from our break. If you're on hold, hang tight. And then on our next Bright Side episode, we'll continue talking about cysteine and connective tissue. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Many Americans suffer from digestive problems, often totally unaware they're not absorbing essential nutrients from foods and supplements. Dr. Peter Glidden is aware of the importance of healing a damaged digestive system. Now, the product that I'm going to talk about today, Mackey Plus, and it is a combination of a superfruit, the Mackey berry, and aloe vera juice. Now, aloe vera is a very interesting nutritional supplement to talk about because aloe vera, you know, it's the stuff that you put on your skin if you get a burn. And man, it really knocks down the pain, the inflammation of the burn and facilitates healing. Well, guess what? It does the same thing internally that it does externally to burns. To soothe and heal your digestive system, order Mackey Plus today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696 or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's fireyourmdnow.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now, here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com 
and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey Guy. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. A little right, a little left, but always independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network, GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. Thanks for being here, friends. 855-660-4261 is our number. If you're in the Santa Cruz area, please come stop by my talk at the Vintage Faith Church in Santa Cruz next Friday, March the 7th at 6.30 p.m. Hope to see you all out there. We're going to talk about hacking into the biosystem, hacking into the biological system for health and longevity. That's next Friday, March the 7th, 6.30 at the Vintage Faith Church in Santa Cruz, California. All right, time to hit our phones. Fatina in Texas, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Dr. Ben. Hey, what's up? How are you? Um, I'm doing I've been, good. Uh, finding myself having to go to the bathroom at night, like more frequently than I'm used to. Oh, okay. Uh, and for the last... For the last couple of days, I've tried to cut down my uh, liquid intake, but yeah. still, um, it's, I still find myself have to go to the bathroom all the time. Are you pregnant? Really... Could you be pregnant? Could you be pregnant? No. Okay. No. How old are you, can I ask? Yeah, 32. Okay. Does it feel like it's burning or anything, or it's tingling, or, or do you really go no, to the bathroom, or you just feel? Do you feel like you have to go to the bathroom? Or are you, or do you feel like you have to go to the bathroom, or you actually have to urinate? Well, actually, when I... I feel have to, uh, I have to go to the bathroom, but when I go, sometimes like you know, like I have to go to the bathroom, but sometimes there's really nothing. So you have a sensation, but you don't necessarily, but you don't necessarily yeah. have anything come out. All right. Well, a yeah. couple of things. If you feel like you have to go into to go to the bathroom a lot, it may be that your body ha- there's so much sugar in your blood, your body's trying to get rid of it, and you don't have enough fluid. So and you don't have enough fluid, um, so that's why you can't. Nothing comes out. But the sensation, the concentration of sugar, triggers that kind of reaction. Diabetes is actually it's actually one of the major signs of diabetes. Could that be, could it be possible? Do you have any diabetes in the family? Is or is your weight off? No. Have, have you noticed you gain no. weight? Have you noticed you gained weight in the last couple of years that you didn't have before? Not at all. And so you're, everything else is normal. Anything else that you could think of? Because one symptom like that doesn't really mean anything unless we can put together a few, a few other symptoms. Do you have any, uh, do you have any, uh, anything else going on? Any, uh, well, let's I say, do, I, yeah? I, mean, I do eat a lot of sweets, uh, but I'm overall, I'm pretty healthy. I mean, I eat very well. I work out. I'm a, well, hang on, I, hang on, hang on. Eating a lot of sweets is not necessarily a sign that you're a bad person, but it might be a sign that your biochemistry is off a little bit. Uh, okay. what, I would, what I would do if I were you is I would actually be drinking more water so you can flush that sugar out. Because if it is a sign that your body's trying to eliminate sugar and you're holding back on the water, that could cause the sugar to be, the, your sugar to become even more concentrated, oh. and that can really be a problem. So I would actually be drinking more water. Uh, and then also, uh, if I were you, I'd be making sure that I was getting my water-soluble nutrients. Remember, when you're drinking more water, and there was a neat article on CNN, actually, that I copied this morning uh, about dehydration and drinking water. Drinking water is absolutely, is really, really Really important. You want to be drinking a lot of water anyway. But if uh, if you're drinking a lot of water, you got to make sure you're replacing your B vitamins, your vitamin C, and your electrolytes because you're going to lose those in the urine. So first of all, you got a couple of things that you want to do, Fatina. First of all, you want to uh, look for other symptoms. Whenever you have one symptom, you want to f- try and put together an entire picture. I know I've given this example before, but it's a metaphor before, but it's really a, a neat way to, to understand how important sample points or data points are, finding other symptoms, uh, how important finding other symptoms it can be. If you think about a painting, if you put a 
dot in the middle of the painting, you can't tell what that painting is. But if you start to put a few different dots, one in the corner, one in the left hand, one in the right hand side, one in the middle, one in the top, one in the bottom, you can start to form a picture and all of a sudden a mountain will appear or a bird or a river or a tree. There was a guy named Bob Ross. You're too young to remember Bob Ross, but 